imafoundation.com is a registered organization in India 2019 and in London 2008. The art organization was established with the core purpose of identifying, supporting and promoting the best of contemporary Indian artistic talent and traditions in the international arena. In particular, selecting, supporting and promoting the artists deemed to be the future standard bearers for Indian art. The cultural traditions and endangered arts of India are also showcased and supported to ensure they inspire and engage a new generation. In 2017, Imma was chosen to represent India at UNESCO's World Humanities Conference held in Liège, Belgium, where the endangered arts of India and contemporary art was showcased. Imma continues to be committed to showcasing and cultivating the cultural DNA of the Indian nation. From April 2020 till the present, imafoundation.com is offering a live online art project, which is focused on offering art training for all interested during the lockdown period. ImmaFoundation.com is proud to show a live online demonstration of transparent watercolour painting by the distinguished artist Pradeep Mitra. Pradeep was born in Shirampur in Hooghly district, West Bengal. He undertook his art studies, gaining a first class diploma from the University of Calcutta. His preferred medium from the onset was in watercolour and following graduation, he committed to working as a full-time artist. From 1983 onwards, he has continuously showcased his works in numerous up to 15 solo exhibitions throughout India, with Mumbai and New Delhi being a regular feature. He also went on to participate in many group shows, art camps and workshops in India and sold his work in prestigious auction houses such as Bonhams and Oceans. He has achieved many awards at state and national level. His works are also in private art collections throughout India and in the USA, France and beyond. His artist statement is as follows. One day, I felt myself slightly bigger than my statue. I was still in my teens then. How could I make a place for myself? I asked, and suddenly found a myriad of colours that carried me up to a level of consciousness where I was united with infinity. People came rolling like waves, the agony and ecstasy flowing. I felt water everywhere, transparent, moving water with this cryptic spectrum of colours spreading down to the earth. And at that point, I made a decision, which was to take watercolour as my medium. And from there, all was set. This is the way to my studio, and it is big size. Uh, when I was in teens, I was working on watercolor. In 1979, I went to the art college, and after 80, I was touched with a big group in Calcutta as well as in the world that is called Society of Contemporary Artists. It was my blessings that I could chance to enter in that precious house where the masters were working like Sanatkar, Vikas Bhattacharya, Samuel Dhaparaya and everybody told me that you are a water artist. You don't do anything. You just watercolor, you just carve it properly. So what happened in my final uh, examination where everybody doing in the oil, but I was chance to do in the watercolor. That time, uh, 
Mm. Already I participated and my painting was shown with Magul Pida Hussain and big, big artists. The teachers uh, from college were saying, okay, uh, please let him give a chance to do in the watercolor because he can't afford his uh, prices and everything for the uh, work. And still I got well, first as fast. Uh, that was my challenge. Actually, that time, 1983, when I am traveling, our local railway stations, and I was living in the Tita one. There's a station called Vidhanagar. That side was the locomotive shed, coal engines, that locomotive engines. One day I went there for the outdoor, as everybody is going everywhere, you know. That, that was a schooling in our uh, Kolkata and uh, university. So many subjects and everywhere. One day I went to the uh, locomotive shed, and I was charmed. This is the place for me. And I started and I spent there over 18 years. I made more or less 6,000 watercolors. After that, you works of uh, my various subjects. Right. And whenever I go going everywhere, right. one of the sample of the locomotive engine. I tried to do my work there. You see, there another watercolor that. Uh, uh, which year you done this one? This is uh, when I was in fourth year. That is uh, 1984. And there is the same year. Locomotive engines. Everywhere they are showing the landscape. I was in the same chair, basically. Suddenly I think that how could I express my my feelings just fascinated myself, not only the landscapes, but the subjective matter is coming to me. And you can see, this is the subject of a, inside the Jamindar house. You can see the priest is worshiping the, the nude goddess of our country, the Mahavalipuram, Khajuraho, and etc. Everywhere, the mm -hmm. Pandit seeing by nudity of the, the goddess. This is their inner feelings, worshiping in the daytime, but in the night, we are seeing what is nudity with uh, lighting a candle, a field that, that is saw. When I am going to the landscapes area, then I do disease after uh, like tsunami in the sea coast. This is the fisherman. He lost his everything. Only a broken boat and an aluminum bowl and a lantern that was using for his lively food. And it is all everything is broken and scattered. This I feel in my mind and I do pain. There is a moon. This moon is just lighted. This is a spot lighted. This is also a star smart watercolor you can see. That how I just used the colors layer after layer after layer after layer. Because uh, what happened, I am always thinking that everybody is living in the world and the, each and every time after decades or after five years, he is molded by the layers of joys, layers of sorrows, layers of beautiness, layers of goodness. Mm. And everything is coming on his uh, life. And I also try to depict these layers when I am working in the watercolor. The first layer, wow. when it was in the joys, then when sorrow comes and it could come with a blackish, bluish tone, and this way, I am developing my watercolors. Thus, one of my watercolor can sometimes taking more than six months. Sometimes I am doing with 15 minutes. Sometimes I am doing in one hour. Ladies and gentlemen, demonstration today, Pradeep Das transparent watercolor technique. Pradeep Da is the person, uh, watercolor, first time, young contemporary artist, not only landscape, not only still life, he is using proper creative process. My name is Radha Binod Sharma. I am a founder of imafoundation.com and I'm a painter. This is the most important. Since 2008, Ima Foundation has started. 2019, Ima Foundation started in India as well. We work with cutting edge people, contemporary Indian art, endangered indigenous art. Quick hello from Rani. Rani is the co-founder of imafoundation.com.
yeah, just saying hello to everyone. I'm one of the co-founders and here to support all the artists and all the writing with kind of recognising how we can really represent the artworks as best as possible. So that's where my focus is. Thank you, everybody. How many styles in watercolor? Thousand styles the artist can put in their paper. But the main thing is in the watercolor that the lights are given to us. We only use the shadows, shadow part. Because why the light is given to us? The paper is white. And we will certainly uh, use white colors upon it because it is more opaque. So in the transparent watercolor, we just try to keep the paper white and the third tone, second tone, and first tone. So I will show transparent watercolor on the paper. So how I draw for the watercolor. Dear all of audience, one thing Pradeep Da is doing, you can see he's not using any kind of dark line, very minimized middle tone he's using because he's going to use layer by layer color. There should not be disturb this line, only need to be a, get the significant some idea and please share with everyone from Pradeep Das thought. And transparent watercolor, if we put dark line tone, that will be very difficult to omit that line through different tone. Pradeep Das used lots of tone. So this is my drawing only. And then I will try to show it properly. Trying to do in the daytime, sunny days, that, that's why I'm using this type of color, lighter tone, and the more lighter tone, keep paper white, follow. I keep this light white, paper white, it will be the lighter portion. This will be the shadow part. You see, this is the first layer. I apply some colors from dark to light, and it will be in the wake on wake process. So, just you try to follow this thing. Dark part and the light part, I am using spontaneously wake process. Okay. Now, you see, I will more dark tone here to come out the sticks. These sticks will come out, hmm. and I am using this dark tone and the lighter tone. I am just remaining the lighter tone, and I am keeping the dark tone here. Now this is the system, and I am trying to keep my way how this is coming. Just to see that the dark portion of this basket is made the, in the fast tone. And now I will 
keep more tones the lighter tones Sometimes details, sometimes undetailed, sometimes messy, sometimes some lines and tones may make it own character of the basket. These are only the first or second tone, which I'm using now. And after that, I will go through the transparent tone and the textures and the characteristic of the subject at the place, everything. Basically, my own color is black. Black I like very much and I use black properly because everybody knows that black is not transparent, but I am telling you black is most transparent watercolor. Russia blue and black make the color so rich. Do you specifically like few of color in Kamlin? Yeah. Which color? Actually, the yellow group is very rich. The chrome yellow or a cadmium yellow. What about the red section? Red section is uh, two semester poor to me. Whenever I'm using the uh, red tones, the vermilions or the scarlet like Winsor Newton color. What about the mauve and sepia? These are not good. These are all muddy. Blue and green series. Indian green is also listed okay. Mm -hmm. Blue is also okay, but just uh, extractive powder is over there. Yeah. This warty to ask Pradeep the depthness of the, their pigment actually and binding. We are not against of anyone, be honest, uh, but we have to know depthness of the color because there's no point to wasting time. When in new generation student, they try to do the something color and they after dry they change that this is unfair so we are trying to just gossiping we are not against it anyone actually in my opinion mm -hmm. students should use the proper colors means the good quality of colors they not have... the student like colors they should use the artist quality color first time they should know the proper tone and proper color depthness after the work the color is changing they can't understand what the viridian green works, how, how the viridian green works. They will show you, this is the proper, this is the only proper color of viridian green, but that is not. 
because the artist quality of Meridian Green and the student quality of Meridian Green, that means I am telling you that Coatman series is a student series in Winston Newton. One thing I have to share now, Winston and Newton, Cotman yeah. is still there. They are making the new series of watercolor. They call Winston Newton professional watercolor. And oh. they put TM. This is absolutely 100% concentrate pigment and binding. Nowadays, somebody is using many colors in liquid form. Proper watercolor needs only the pigment color. use the yellow color for the light sometimes mm -hmm. i use portions also mm -hmm. in basket you're trying to make lots of line after dry keep disappearing you know you're seeing this color is disappearing but this after they disappear mm -hmm. we are making another color you know yeah, yeah, another yeah. tones yeah true 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 after yellow, I am dark brown and it is disappeared. When it is disappeared, it is covered by another color which the bamboo baskets shadow part try to fill it. This no, no, is no. very important which tone I am using and how I am using these thing, things after layer after layer. Because I, if I know the, after a, the color will be disappeared and it will come the baskets, the shadow part color. I have courage to take the direct dark tone from beginning. Pradeep Da is doing. So Pradeep Da's vision is so strong, he knows where is what from beginning. Because transparent watercolor is always time change, that change to be turned into a, his vision. Uh, my own color will turn into my way. Using too many colors, I know what I am using. I know what the final result will be. I'm not okay. going to the detail, but the fact is that this characteristic also, the, you know, the post and a, a, everything is coming, the wooden post. And you see this, this color here, two, three, four colors in, in, in consisting here. The post is not like, I, I, when I will uh, keep some lines over there, it will, come properly, actually, the characteristic will come. Sometimes what happens, there is a cloth or racks is hanging over there. And there is also shadow part and light part. The dark red area, I am fascinated with the dark red with crimson and the Prussian blue. You just see this is the lighter portion and this is the darker portion. Mm. And this is too dark because this everything is in the dark portion. Yeah. After that, it will be covered with a dark tone and light and shape. It will come then. As this uh, object, you make it as a demonstration today. This is you seen somewhere or you done, done from your memory? In somewhere, definitely. Because when you and I, everybody was doing uh, outdoors. Anywhere or everywhere we are seeing this uh, broken basket or the wooden table. So this was my plan to see the tones only, okay. how the tones work for the paper, mm -hmm. uh, the broken door and the door panels, the lights and states and the beads of the door. This is the shadow part of the thread.
now gradually i will go to the details only Pradeep Da, when he used a dark color, he always time used a mixing too many layer of dark color in one go. It is not that easy. Black I am using, but with mixed. We mix the another color. If anybody do watercolor properly, mm -hmm. the painting or acrylic is very, very easiest for him. You are absolutely right. I start actually from Baroda 1989. Acrylic was becoming started, Kamlin just started. And I used to use Febicryl and acrylic mix because of economic situation was not that good. But when I did, I was really frightened, maybe not possible. One of the Kashmiri dada called Usman Bhai, he used to do calligraphy painting with acrylic. He said, try it. You are doing transparent watercolor. You can handle really powerful way. If you are in good in transparent watercolor, acrylic will be mind blowing for you. Mm -hmm. It's no dark, darker, and darkest. Dark is not siloe. You can look through. Thus, I am using the layer after layer, dark tones and dark tones. Then, not finally, first time. After a layer, after a layer. Otherwise, your eyesight will stack. You can see in the dark, the things in, inside the dark. Because we can see inside the dark. In the dark part, we are seeing everything. It's really beautiful moldings layer by layer. Even you to put the blue tone in door, that is really making really lots of sense. That I can see in Pradeep Das work. Pradeep Das work is like a fearless, enjoy, spontaneity, and subconscious and conscious together. Watercolor needs less work and much more effect. Little bucket, huh, Pradeepda? 
Yeah, there's a bucket, you know. <laughs> I didn't draw it. It needs now. I think it is needed. Otherwise, the composition is going. So you need a little bit breeding your space, eh? that corner. Yeah, final soul in the basket. Mm -hmm. The source of light is from there. And this is dark part, and this part is the reflective room. request to the audience who are working in the watercolor don't do anything from photograph brothers this is a cost for you absolutely if you go to the outside you see you took in your mind you make a memory do these things properly otherwise it missed you go another day you go another day day after day year after year then you will get anything or everything go from a to B, B to C. Don't jump to A to Z. Photograph to work in, you are puzzling yourself. Please learn by heart and do whatever you like. It will come to you. This is the beautiful work I did enjoy from beginning to end. And you share lots of your thought and lots of your experience. Thank you very much. You are very kind. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pradeep Maitra, he is the only living one young artist in India doing transparent watercolor over four decades. Means over 40 years. We're proud of you, Pradeep Da. And today's demonstration, what you've done, that will be big, big useful for our Thank young you generation very. trying to do transparent very. watercolor. We love to share and support everyone in this youtube please subscribe and share we can show more and more cutting edge people from our country thank you everybody thank you Love foundation